My name is Ashish Kumar and I am an assistant professor of mining engineering in the College of Earth and Mineral Sciences here at Penn State University. I am really happy and proud to talk to you about our proposal for the NASA funded lunar mining contest. So recent research has shown that moon could have a substantial presence of water. All of that is actually locked within the lunar regolith that is the top layer on the surface. As we all know water is required for our survival. We are also planning really long duration missions and that is going to require a lot more water. As of now, everything is sent to the moon and other planets using rockets that actually run on chemicals. Those are expensive and those are not sustainable. So an alternate way could be just go ahead and mine that regolith. So the lunar environment is not conducive to conventional forms of mining that we see here on the Earth's surface. The moon actually sees very large temperature swings. It also doesn't have any atmosphere. So the modes of power transfer we are used to seeing here on the Earth just cannot be applied there. So we actually propose a modified form of a mining machine called bucket wheel excavator. It just has a very large wheel that has multiple buckets installed on the periphery. So as the wheels rotate, the buckets actually get engaged to the surface. They scoop the dust and they actually dump it on board a hosting facility. So we also want to use the same excavator as our haulage machine. When we have excavated all the regolith, the same machine is actually going to the discharge point. It's going to discharge all the material and it's going to come back to the original point. And this cycle repeats over and over again. One of the most important points we should note here is that our availability and utilizations are set at very low. We have assumed a value of 50%. This is extremely low for any earth-based mining machines but we also want to make sure that our batteries are up and running throughout and then we are spending a lot of time on maintaining our machines. So we have found a location close to our campus where we plan to run our durability demonstration test. It is actually a part of our arboretum where we have rolling hills so we can actually modify them to mimic the lunar surfaces very very accurately and we'll go back to the images that we have obtained from LROs to make sure that we have the angles and gradients right everywhere. Penn State has a lot of expertise in studying rocks, including their formation and geochemistry. We are very excited to make our own lunar symbolons and have our excavator move it as safely and as efficiently as possible. Our team has what it takes to make this possible.